Hey guys, Poppy. So I have no idea what I'm doing today, but I'm gonna try and make a DIY linen spray. So I did look up some recipes, I guess, online, um, and then I just figured I would, um, you know, do what I usually do and just see what happens and try and make it myself. Okay, so as far as I can tell, you don't need that many things. You need a spray bottle. This is one I did previously have like a room spray in, but you can buy them just empty on Amazon, so I'll link to some below. And this was a fig and yarrow room spray. Um, and obviously I've washed that. Then I have in here some water. This is just filtered water, but I think you're meant to use distilled. Um, I then have some vodka. Um, I would recommend buying the cheap crappy stuff because you're just spraying it on your sheets. You're not, you know, drinking it. So what is that, like two ounces? And then for the scent itself, I'm using lavender and vanilla essential oils. So these are both from um, Eden's Garden. I really like that brand, but there's a ton of different ones out there. How many drops did it say when I read online? A lot, hey? Okay. We're just gonna mix until it seems right. So, and because I don't have a funnel, I'm gonna pour things in this because it has a spout so I can get it in there. So, this is probably like two ounces of vodka, right? Two ounces, we'll see. 50 milliliters? Is 50 milliliters two ounces? I don't know. Anyway, that's going in here. I wonder if you bought vanilla vodka. Just spray that on your sheets. So as far as I can tell from what I read online, you put vodka in it so that it evaporates quicker and you're not just spraying water all over bed. So I'm gonna fill it up most of the rest of the way because the oil isn't gonna take up any room. And then I'm gonna start with the vanilla. All right, 20 drops of vanilla, uh, 20 drops of lavender, and then, is this, this is brown, I hope it's not gonna stain things. Maybe I'll shake it. Okay. Okay. So I did 20 drops of lavender, 10 drops of vanilla because it's slow to pour and also because I'm nervous that it might tint things brown. And then I'm just gonna do that up and shake it. This smells very lavendery, like maybe too lavendery. This might take a while. <laughs> so usually I would, you know, test this out before I made a video of it. But I figured this way you guys get to see how I actually figure these things out, which is just through trial and error. And hopefully you might be brave and try out some new things for yourself. Because this is going so well so far. It still doesn't smell like vanilla. And that smells really strong. Okay, so we're probably up to about 30 drops of vanilla now. And the original 20 of lavender. Maybe I made a mistake on all the lavender, but... <laughs> you know. Jesus. Okay, that's a lot of vanilla. That's probably like 50 drops, right? Seems like too much. I guess I can smell it a little bit now. Let's go for another 10 more. Okay, so the reason you could just do lavender, obviously, that would be nice for a linen spray because lavender is quite relaxing and helps you sleep. But I don't particularly love the smell of lavender. 
um, so I thought I would put vanilla in to kind of soften it a little bit and I do think I can smell it now so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try it out see what happens time for the moment of truth let's do this That is a good lavender to vanilla ratio. I think I've outdone myself. So that was it for my DIY room spray video. Um, I usually cut out all of this stuff and just like put the finished result of like exactly how much of what you guys need, but this is how I figure stuff out. So I figured it might be interesting just to show you the experiment once in a while. Um, but you could, I could have gone with a little bit less vanilla, I think. Um, I don't think you really get the full smell until you actually spray it. So definitely spray it before you decide if you need to add or take away stuff. Um, let me know if you've done this with like different essential oils or what some of your favorite combos are. Cause I'd really like to make one for the entryway where the dogs usually hang out. And I think that maybe something citrusy might be good to cut through like dog smell. So. Um, definitely let me know about any kind of DIYs you like to do at home and leave any questions below and I'll see you next time. Bye. Maybe just a couple more. We are gonna get drunk tonight.